All right, so I have a patient here with ulnar sided wrist pain, and we're gonna run through a couple tests to, just to show you how they would present. So first we would do some range of motion. Um, of course, we're gonna do the ulnar uh, deviation range of motion. So you have the fulcrum at the capitate of the hand, about right there. The proximal arm will be toward the lateral epicondyle of the elbow, and the distal arm, the moving arm, will be toward, uh, parallel with the third metacarpal. You'll ask the patient to ulnar deviate, so can you do that for me? And you would measure where it's at. This would be 30 degrees. With ulnar sided wrist pain, they'll probably be decreased in that. The next test we're gonna do is an MMT. So can you, can you go like this with your elbow for me? So we're gonna do a wrist flexion MMT. So we'll start right here, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pull towards me, just resist me, okay? As best you can. Hold, hold, hold. So he was pretty strong there. Um, just testing the flexors of the wrist, making, making sure there's nothing wrong with them. So next we'll do what's called a fovea sign. So you'll have the patient with their elbow flex like this. You'll place your hand, place your thumb anterior to the ulnar head and posterior to the flexor carpi ulnaris. You'll just apply pressure there, and if, if it's a positive test, the patient will be experiencing pain there. Um, and then the next test, so can you pronate? So we're gonna have you ulnar deviate. This is called the TFCC load test. So you'll have them pronate, make a fist, and ulnar deviate, and you'll just apply an axial load. A positive test would be a reproduction of their pain.